All right, everybody. There's Epitome here, I'm dealing with the monster. and Deathmatcher is dealing with the monster. And so, welcome back to Soma. We're on episode 21 today. Wow. I think. Uh, I don't know. I don't know when we'll be done with this game, but it doesn't feel like we're done anytime soon because we're still in Omicron, and we still st there's still what Tau. We still need to go with Tau, I believe. We not? Well, we don't know if this is the way. We've never been here before. Yeah. So death mattress is assuming there'll be a power, power and battery. So there are three things right now we need to collect in, in this, in this um, stage. First, we need to collect um, one of the chips, cortex, cortex chips, and the second is battery. And the third thing is, I forgot, structure gel. Uh, so, quite a lot of things to get. Uh, we and, and what's even funny is that this is not a surprise for me anymore. Or even any of us. First, we go somewhere. And second, uh, what's, it, what's her name again? Catherine. Catherine tells us to go somewhere. And then third, Catherine tells us that something's missing. So we need to go get it. Fourth, we go. We attempt to go find the. Fourth, we we go. We attempt to go find the missing items. And fifth, we go to when we are going to find the missing items. Man, we gotta fit, we gotta encounter monsters. Oh well. Storage room. Storage. Okay. Maybe they store batteries in here. What is that? We got a big case. Nope. Guess not. Our room. Nope, someone's dead. Oh, you're dead. <gasps> oh. Checkpoint. I thought you were going to walk by it. Walk by the mon- Wow. Yeah. Pretty predictable. Wait, I might have to escape. Whoa. What happened to him? No, he's hit. Uh, it's very freaky, man. So who's the other guy? Who's this monster now? That we need, or this enemy? Wow. Yeah, I see him. It's on the left. Run away. Oh, he's the guy, he's a naked guy. Whoa. Whoa, look at this guy. Looks very beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, underwear. What the heck? No idea. Whoops! Or her. I think it's a woman. Sure, I figure, figure out anything that you need to figure out. Oh, oh battery. Yeah. Bucket, bucket. There she is. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Let Meow Man take over. Oh no. There's a new room. You okay? He's gone. You, you, you. Wait, wait. No, you go back to that room. No, no, not that room. Right. So you're in the upper room. So you gotta go to the mess hall. He wants you to go in there. Well then, Deathmatcher has... You don't want to mess with Deathmatcher, man. When you meet... Oh, he was eating. Ah, it's nauseous. Are you checking? Don't mind me looking. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron, Eames, Lansky, all studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to mourn anything, and definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds, and the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Ah! Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. Every other person... What did it say at the end? Needs. And the rest keep wiping stains of blood from their eyes to keep them from overflowing. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. What? I can't bring myself to stop Who's her. talking right here? Ah! Okay. Yeah. You guys send, right? Or oh, there's documents. There are documents. Oh, tell you back, or I'll read. On September 13th, uh, Vic Alclair ordered the staff at Tau to evacuate and move on to the plateau, together with engineer Alan Waldig. I ascended into the bits to assist the evacuation. Following the protocol, we waited at the climber platform for 140 minutes and made several attempts to contact Tao. I decided to move forward, to move towards the site, thinking I might intercept them. Then, when that's when I noticed the guiding lights flicking, flickering, and soon the whole path shut down. We'll make a sector swallowed by darkness. I pushed on with my floodlight until I sc heard screaming over the short-range radio. It carried on breaking in and out of range. 
As I hurried closer to investigate, I came upon the lacerated body of field worker, Espinosa. Something big had almost cut her in two. I considered the importance of saving the tower, and more specifically Ross, as I heard Episcopal Sa's the colleagues getting massacred over the radio. And then you can use right. Radio. Seeing no way to possibly improve the situation, I hurried back to the climate and left the people at tower at to their fate. Yeah. So Carth some notes. With some luck, Ross made it back to Tao and is able to continue his work in Al at Alpha. To, fur to avoid further disturbances, I have decided to report the evacuation as a complete failure, hoping it will stop Theta from attempting another one. Claudia Ames, the manager of Omicron, has already ordered the climber to stay at the plateau for now. My report on the savage wildlife scared everyone enough to even stop Weldick and Darby from maintaining the Lumer probes. It's a good thing Galaski is off-site because I have a feeling he would not appro have approved. The restrictions came up slightly more severe than I had anticipated, but I'll take it, as long as Ross is left alone in to work with the WoW. Carthage. Okay. Yeah, it seems like... Feels like the Ark, there's some, some fishy about the Ark. Yeah, who? No, that's not Catherine. Catherine's more. Yeah. Okay. What do you need? Grab in here. Well, no, like you walk behind the counter, right? Is there a door? This is where you hide. We need to hide from. Well, maybe they have gel in here. Who knows? That what? Yeah. Seems like there's nothing here. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Right. are off. Well, yeah, because you, you sort of it. Okay, there's nothing here besides stories. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, you're yeah, done. Nothing. Well, you didn't check. Well, you were... No, was it? No. Well, you ran in here, but you did check everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, they might not have stayed. So, okay, there are a couple of floors we need to go. This is the top floor, which we went. We went to the top floor. Now there are other floors here that go. Are you going to that room yet? Um. Yeah. Another structure gel will be here. Of course, there they won't be too nice. Can't be that nice. Nothing here. Stinging guy. Oh my guy. Hey, fish. Fish. Cord storage. That's the most important thing. Eat fish. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? So 
Some trolls, eh? Radio. Wait, wait, what, what's, on, what's, on, what's on the table? That's not something you really want to get comfortable with. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny, Julia. What's going on? I'm playing that transparent. What do you want, Molly? We're friends, right? Yes. Do you think Alpha is real? Um, what makes you... Why, why would you ask that? I think Ross is trying to tell me something. Outside Alpha. He wants me to go down to the abyss and find him. Crazy, right? You've been down there. I just thought you could talk some sense into me. Ronnie, I'm not at liberty to. I can't talk about that. Yeah. Check the desk. Whoa, dead rat. Our mouse. Maybe. Whoa, you don't want to touch that. Don't touch it yet. Touch it later. Just, 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 just to listen to. What's this? Hmm. Let's get out of here. And maybe that guy will just jump out and scare you again. Maybe not. How about the other side of the room? Yes, North Pole. Yeah. Could if you want. Yeah, she's in this room. Right. Nothing. Nothing. No, you go to that uh, left. No left. There's the other, the right, this room. No. I might too. No foreign containment. Magnetic door. <sighs> oh, scanner. Screw up the scan. Whoa. I've been taking a shower. Nice shower. Well, considering we, this place has been abandoned for a while. Whoa. Well, where's Structure Jail? Well, they talked about such Structure Jail right there. They're left. Hmm. What's that thing? Oh. Yep. Oh. Computer. Connectivity. A structure child has been charged and actually keeps going for a while. Even when removed from a power source, if applied to, to its circuits, it seems to help out with connectivity. Seems... It seems like it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. The gel can make simple machine work and act more efficiently. However, the modifications that the WoW has made the gel to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the most eventually ruining it. Host, host. 
We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated uncalib to get rid of the bark bad code. Pathology? mouse gel caused mouse to appear alive, it was put into the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was an apathetic while, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half, what did that say? Half an hour later, the reanimated mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened with it. So the gel, is, is it, do we really want the gel now? Uh, reanimated another mouse with structured gel. This time it was done with uncalibrated gel as, uh, as produced by uh, Ernst. The results were impressive. The thing appeared ca caton catatonic, but it's, it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing, ha thing hardening as poor electromagnetics are used to cause a uh, low electrical current within the animal. This has also provided us the ability to some control. Uh, Alright. The structured gel remains unchanged as a fundament on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with a line graphene in a polyunsaturated ma matrix that was installed throughout Bathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel, but it's, con it's controller. The WOW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WOW simply uses its ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Study results. Overwhelming evidence includes that all the worm creatures, the fish and the sharks, and even the helpers were manipulated by the WoW via structured gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by a cancerous growth that affect their whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about an AI, but it all started shortly after the asteroids killed the surface. I can't for sure say if it's that bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. But you say something about virus? Okay. So the structure child has some virus. Okay. No. Well, you're, you're to take it. Maybe. Open. Oh. Now what? Never seen something of that speed. Down there? The left. Oh, you gotta fix it. Computer? Yeah, go to that computer. File safety. You track where it's it? What are you looking for? Is there a thing around here? Well, if it's your fixed one, then you gotta go go somewhere. Go, 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 go back. Uh, no, 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 no. Go inside here. Go inside here. What are you doing? Trying to break it, eh? Okay, oh, we can know how to fix it. Cell one recording. Oh. Yes. Oh, just pull the thing. Take the thing. And you. Oh. Okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Put it in. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Nope. Don't. Fine, pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out and grab the mouse. Just in case we need anything from the mouse. <laughs> Push it back in. Then click. Wait. Not cell not secure. Please clo close this tray. Close all the tray. Close all. The yeah. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Now. So, okay, it's fixing it. We'll see. Okay, newly equipped gel. Or whatever that thing is. Okay, let's try again. Open the thing. There we go. Now grab some structured gel. And hopefully nothing bad comes. Up. Yeah. Did you not? Oh well, let's just. So let's just pause the game at the moment. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please consider liking this video if you've enjoyed the series so far. Uh, as, as always, uh, see you guys next ep episode. Peace out.